I'm Ollie. I'm an Obtainium engineer and jack of all trades. And I'm here at the Friars Forest Research and Development Workshop converting Stellar Dairy's 1968 Toyota Stout to electric. day three now we got the engine out on day one and then the the gearbox out on day two started fabricating the adapter plate and figuring out how the coupling is, was going to work between the electric motor and the gearbox I've decided <laughs> maybe against the uh, the good judgment of uh, Adrian that I'm gonna go direct drive onto the onto the gearbox which will give us um, about a 32 to 1 total reduction. It's a bit borderline because the amount of current we're going to be pulling is going to be a little bit higher and and so probably would be nice in a way to have another 2 to 1 reduction in there. I want to try it like this and we'll we'll get another battery module if we need to to be able to supply more current because the motor and the control can handle extra. The batteries, I know they're good quality because I've been running them in my building for quite a long time. Although we could go automotive batteries, because we've got a inverter on the back, I want it to all interface with that. These modules have a BMS in them. They don't have a hugely high C rating. It's a little bit of a compromise there. You pull more higher C ratings from batteries and they start to heat up and their life expectancy is gonna be more compromised. So getting cells that claim they can do three, four C, it, it'll come at a cost. This is neat, this is all in one box. So anyway, Gonna get into uh, a bit more work on the adapter plate. So I think I've got everything pretty centered up. The alignment looks pretty good. Righto, time to machine up the pulley that we're gonna use to attach the center of the clutch to to make our coupling. Hopefully, go around and meet Sam Deal and uh, see whether he's got some spare time for us to use his lathe. We've got the gearbox and adapter plate strapped on. We're going to be going around there in uh, the old 1974 Toyota Dyna that uh, is going to be the basis of a project coming up. Don't think it's ever been done before, what we're planning. It's definitely going to involve a bit of electrification. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that though. So. Right, I've just arrived at Sam's and we're just gonna head into his workshop. All sorts of exciting sculptures and projects happening in here. Sam's just cleaning up the lathe. This is Sam. Howdy. He's got all sorts of exciting projects. Just over the back there, there's a little, little EV coming along, a little Datsun. This little red beast has just had a new heart turn up. Look at that there. It's just come across from the States. That's a Hyper 9. And it's going in this little engine bay. So you're putting the battery pack in the back in the tray, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've got a, about 150, 200 kilos of payload left. So, it's, um, yeah, a couple of boxes of groceries and you're done. Maybe someone in the passenger. <laughs> and you've uh, got a few things there in, uh, that you've put aside for, for this project. Yeah, yeah, a couple yeah. of contactors and uh, uh, an accelerator and a, a main box. main breaker uh, there in, yep. in the cab. So all very exciting. And I've got a couple of uh, couple of bits here that we need to machine up for a coupling. So right. maybe we can. This way. Excellent. Oh, maybe we'll uh, get set up. Here's the, here's the piece cut, so we'll put that in there and get it onto the lathe and get ready to go. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Now I can drill and tap 
and I'm going to screw into the front of it because this is cast iron and and this is really hard steel so wanted to avoid welding di different metals didn't know how the cast iron would handle it so I'm going to drill and tap now all drilled to 5 mil. Now we've got to tap them out. There's still something I don't really like about it. The bolts aren't supported all around. I'm going to think about it a little bit more, but we must get the bread out of the oven. So, I did what I said I didn't want to do before, cut the outside disc. Now I've got potential imbalance, but I'm pretty happy with, uh, with that result, so let's uh, bolt it onto the, the block. Okay. <laughs> 